Why are you silent? Many people ask us this when they see a war raging and atrocities committed by one side or the other. For some, it can be unbelievable that we are not joining the condemning voices, and understandably so, when we are often on front lines, seeing firsthand what's going on. But I can tell you that we are never silent. We talk, and we talk a lot, but confidentially. Confusing, right? Let me try to explain. Saving lives, reducing or preventing suffering are our top priorities. We know by experience, by denouncing one side or the other, we risk losing access to the people when they are most in need. By not taking sides, we want to gain the trust of all those involved in the fighting. So we can try to ensure prisoners of war are being treated humanely. Cross front lines to bring much needed food and medicine or fix broken water pipe. Now, do you really think that we can do all this without talking? Absolutely not. We constantly talk to governments and armed groups. We put all issues on the table, try to find pragmatic solutions for those affected by conflict. Does it mean that we never publicly denounce? No, we do. But only, and I insist, absolutely only when this is in the interest of the civilians, the sick, the wounded and the detained.